So, welcome back to another 22 men and a ball video. Today is one of them games where, as a Villa fan, you don't know why you're going into the stadium. You're still going to go, but you don't know why. Uh, we've got Man City. I'm not expecting anything. We've been awful. They've been amazing. Uh, I'm yet to see if Haaland will play. The team sheets are about to come out in a minute or two. So, we'll see. Um, a few people saying that because of midweek, they're playing Champions League. Maybe he gets rested and they play Alvarez up top. But I don't see that. I see he's just going to play again, probably score a hat-trick again. Um, I'm really not looking forward to this game. I've been quaking my boots all week, especially since that Arsenal game where we just didn't seem to have any bottle after we scored. So I'm going to say we're going to lose 3-1. However, we do also sometimes turn up in these kind of games. and It could be a 2-1, it could be a 2-0, it could be a 1-0. Then I just don't see us getting anything from it. If we get a draw, I'll be over the moon. doesn't matter how we play, if we get a draw... I'll be buzzing, um, but yeah, I don't see anything coming from this game, so we're going to go, we're going to go support the boys as always, as we always do, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to it, and I'm not I'm not very uh, optimistic, shall we say. So let's get to Villa Park, and uh, let's have as good a time as we can. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, 
Sir. He won the league of Spain. He went to Munich. He did the same again. He's fucking magic. And don't you fucking know. He's a bloody fight. We need to see him.
you all day, son. the game i'm ecstatic i'm over the moon i can't believe we got a point um i know a lot of people will probably be commenting like oh well done and you're getting a point versus man city trophy or whatever but considering how we've played this season you know we started it the performance was unbelievable like it's something going into the game i was so worried we were going to lose like four or five nil but we actually like contained them first off they didn't have many chances i can remember Haaland having nothing. He, he was struggling first half because we kept him central. We didn't to get the ball, like to get anywhere near the ball, he had to go a bit deeper. And that's what you want with Haaland. That's what Liverpool did so well in the community shield. That's how they kept them quiet. It didn't, they didn't let him in behind. They didn't let City put the balls in behind. Uh, we probably did play quite deep, which meant the balls in behind would have to be spot on, which City are capable of. But as soon as a De Bruyne or a uh, Silver or whoever else on the pitch, as soon as they got the ball, that was Louise or Kamara straight out to him. And playing those two together in that game was spot on by it's Gerard. And this is what I'm saying. Against against the big clubs, we've never really disappointed under Gerard, again, except for Tottenham. Tottenham, they just hit that long ball up and Kane flicked it on or Kane brought it down and they completely dominate us. But City, as dominant as they were, they didn't actually have too many clear cut chances first half. Second half was a bit different. They came out, they uh, switched to overlapping fullbacks instead of inverted. And when they did that, they caused us more problems. And obviously, Haaland got the goal from De Bruyne overlapping as well and putting the ball in. Martinez probably should have got there. He may have jumped a bit too early, but I'll let him off because he saved our skin about four other times in that game. Uh, after that, the five minutes after that goal were crucial. If we conceded again, it could have been four or five. It really could have. But we didn't concede. And our players showed passion. There is a passion. There is a aggression. And uh, yeah, they were just they were brilliant. I can't fault any player. Ashley Young, 37 years of age. He looked 25 today. He, he honestly he looked brilliant. He was brilliant when Cash got injured, unfortunate for him. Um, but yeah, there's no one I can fault. Watkins, I've looked on uh, FootMob and somehow he's got the lowest score, like lowest rating. He was amazing. He held the ball up perfectly. As Pep said, they, that was the one thing that made them actually struggle. Um and Jacob Ramsey with a brilliant assist for a beautiful Leon Bailey goal, which he's de he's needed and he's deserved. Um, so, yeah, a, pr a pretty pretty surreal moment to have that uh, draw, which no one saw coming based on our form. But hopefully this is a turning point. As Carragher said uh, in the analysis, if we now don't win our next couple of games or w like get two wins out of our next three, um, that result doesn't really mean anything. If we don't back it up against Leicester, it doesn't really mean anything. So hopefully we can. But that's it's positive at the minute with Villa after that game. That game seems like in the fan base it's been a complete switch. So hopefully now everyone's back on side. We're not back on side with the manager. We can't let him off 
for how poor we started this season, but that was a really good performance and a really good setup. So we've got to give Stevie his props and the players showed everything we want in that game. So yeah, really proud to be a Villa fan at the minute. And yeah, really happy. So if you have enjoyed, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very, very shortly with another video. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye. Shut up and sit down.